Hey guys, Bass Geek here, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite summertime deep water structure lures, the hair jig. So like I said, one of my favorite summertime deep water structure lures to use is the hair jig. I like an ounce. Uh, I will go up to as much as an ounce and a half, and I will go as low as about three quarters. Uh, generally, I keep it simple when it comes to colors, white or white with a little bit of sartreuse in it. Um, I like them to be longer, about five inches, pretty much minimum. And something that I'll do that a lot of guys don't do, and I don't do it very often, especially if I really want it to be super subtle, because the great thing about a hair jig is that it's a subtle presentation. You can get bites when uh, maybe the swim bait or a spoon or something else isn't biting. A hair jig is something great to go in and kind of clean that school up with. Uh, but something I do that maybe not a lot of other people do is I'll put a uh, Kitek uh, small swim bait uh, as a trailer once in a while, um, or sometimes I'll, I'll put a fluke uh, on the end of it or, or some sort of soft uh, jerk bait. Something with really, really subtle action. Uh, every once in a while it seems like if they just won't take the hair jig by itself, uh, that little tiny bit of action uh, on the tail will fire them up and, and get them going. Uh, it actually happened just a few minutes ago. Um, <clears throat> I'll pair that generally with a seven foot six medium heavy to heavy action uh, depending on the weight if i'm throwing an ounce you can get away with a uh, medium heavy uh, i like a seven foot six i'm you know you're casting the open water you can even go go longer than that if you want to uh, a good good backbone and a fast action because there's two ways that you're going to fish this and the first way you're going to fish it is you're going to make a long cast, always cast out as far as you can cast the lure, and you're going to let it sink to the bottom. Once it's on the bottom, you're going to rip it up off the bottom as hard and fast as you can. Uh, and you'll repeat that action all the way back into the boat. The other way, and probably my favorite and what seems to be the most productive way for me to fish it, is I throw it out, again, longest cast that you can make. And sometimes you'll have to feed line to it because I like it dropping straight down uh, on the initial drop. <clears throat> but pay attention because a lot of times on the initial drop, you're going to get bit. So, you know, make sure you're watching and you're ready when you're feeding a little bit of line. But the other way and, and the most productive way seemingly for me is once it hits the bottom, I'll give the I'll give two or three quick reels and stop. I'll watch it as it flutters back down and settles to the bottom, and then two or three quick reels again. And I'll do that all the way to the boat. And a lot of times they'll hit it as soon as you start reeling. They'll they'll see it fall. They'll come up to it and nose on it. And as soon as it takes off again, they're going to come up and just slam it. So be ready. The hook set. You want to hook set with a sweeping side hook set. To the side, not straight up. You're not flipping. You're going to get a better hookup ratio. This is a heavy bait. And if you put the plastic in, sometimes it's going to be, uh, you know, a lot to uh, get leverage on this hook to pull it out. Now the reel that I like, I can go anywhere from a high speed reel which i would recommend for this something like a 7.1 or or higher um, i am fishing it today because i'm doing a couple of different things i'm fishing it today on a six four to one and you can get away with that uh, but sometimes when they hit it they're going to come right at you and it's hard to catch up uh, so a six four to one to higher uh, is what i would recommend and i would recommend a higher gear ratio seven eight you know even to into the some of the dial was now have nines don't be fooled this is a subtle presentation style bait but it will catch big fish 
So go out there, guys. Try a hair jig. Let me know how you like it. As always, questions and comments in the comment section. I'll always get to those. Like it if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe. You guys rock.